if you want your site uh, to appear in uh, the major search engines you need to do few things like uh, making sure that your site uh, has all the keywords getting generated and you can of course use uh, the meta tag module yesterday i talked about uh, seo checklist module that is really the only module that you need to get a list of all the potential modules that you should be installing for a site that is uh, compatible and that is basically following the proper guidelines when it comes to making sure that your site is SEO friendly. Now today I just want to quickly walk you through one such module called XML sitemap. Now XML sitemap is uh, it is an important module because using this module you can create a sitemap which you can submit to various search engines and uh, and those search engines can basically crawl your website which is i believe important if in case you in case you care about the search engine opt optimization you don't have to but i think it is up to you and i'm trying to show you how it works now the configuration of xml sitemap is not very complicated so you first need to add a sitemap like you can click on the button add XML sitemap. You can give it a nib, give, give it a label. And uh, for configurations, you need to basically define in your configuration what all you want your sitemap to include. For example, if you look at, uh, let us say, my configuration, I am generating my sitemap for block content type and also for uh, the page content type. I can add more and I can always go to sitemap uh, entities and here I can uh, configure and by the way apart from content there is also an option to include comments maybe or maybe custom blocks but I only care about uh, the content. So let us say if I want uh, my KB articles to also be included in the sitemap i can uh, configure it and uh, it says right now excluded i can include it and uh, it will give you some priority like uh, whether you want to give this as normal priority or highest priority and uh, you can just save the configuration so once you do that you can see here that uh, it will be applied and that is really it you can then go to the rebuild option and uh, click on save configuration and it will basically generate the sitemap for you that you can take a look at i'll show you how it looks like and the good thing is that in, in the configuration of site uh, in the configuration of xml sitemap you also have the option to submit your sitemap to search engines so you can always go to search engine tab and you can uh, define some submission urls which I believe you can get uh, when you are working with Google Webmasters, for example, in case you want to submit to Google. So if you take a look at the sitemap itself, the sitemap path is something that uh, you can uh, always uh, define. Let me show you the sitemap first. So my sitemap url is sitemap.xml and this is the sitemap so you can see here all the all the blocks all the pages and uh, i may also want to include let us say a specific content type so you can always insert for example just now we inserted we we made sure that the kb articles are also inserted so they can also be included in your sitemap so this is something really interesting because uh, when you're working with sitemaps uh, you have a lot of configuration options and uh, using these configuration options you can uh, decide whether you want uh, your sitemap to include that particular uh, 
content type or not so this is something that i thought i will share in this video and uh, i basically wanted to talk about this module because uh, this is quite interesting module and uh, when you install it when and when you generate the sitemap uh, using this module xml sitemap it is not really a lot of effort you just need to do it once and you're done basically you are creating a sitemap which is uh, following some standard and uh, all the popular search engines will recognize, recognize the format of your uh, sitemap. So this is all I want to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.